Hi, Tammy Sanders Paper Crafter here, and I am trying out a new product from Graphics. It is their Opaque White Craft Plastic Film. It is very smooth, it is very flexible, and it is very thin. And you can use it for a variety of mediums, inks, paints, alcohol inks. Today we're using the Koi Watercolors from Sakura. They come in tubes and I like that so I can uh, control the consistency a little better. To start off with, I'm going to spritz the film and then I'm just going to start laying on color. I want to create a background pattern so I just want to get some watercolors on the, on the page and see what happens. You can see that they're already kind of starting to seep and flow into each other. The paints are going to be very fluid on this film. And so you can see how they're already blending. Now if I spritz it with water, you can really see that they start blending. I can also use a straw to move them. As I said, it's very fluid on here. So the paint or uh, ink is really going to flow. You can tip it, tilt it, create little rivulets, whatever you like. If you get too much, dab it off with a paper towel. Nice texture too. You can spritz it with more water, add more paint, whatever you like. It's fun just to play with it. Just bend it turn it every which way and see how it runs. You can also heat set it if you are careful. You need to keep it moving. You need to keep it a little high above it. You will get awesome patterns that you would not get with watercolor paper. Um, I find that if I bend it while I'm heat setting, it works a little better. Keeps it a flatter. Now you can go back in, as I said, add more water, add more ink, add more paint, whatever you want, dab it, when you're happy with it, then you can either let it dry naturally or heat set it again. And I was pretty happy with how I had it, so I was just going to totally heat set it so you can see the resulting pattern on there. And that's very nice. So now I'm going to use it to make a pen. It also die cuts. You can sew it. You can die cut it. It's awesome. It's very thin. So I die cut it, and then I punched holes. Then I use my mixed media glue to glue the pieces together for a little added security so they'd stay put. Put a brad in the center. And then I can also shape the petals, give them a little pinch. The plastic film is flexible and it'll stay put if you give it a nice crunch. So we'll add some dimension. Then I need to add my pen back, determine what side I want to be my top, and then use my mixed media glue to add my pen back. And then the project is all done. I'm ready to show off my one-of-a-kind pen.